On Sunday in Paris, the French rugby team will take on the Springboks in the last quarterfinal game at this year's Rugby World Cup. In this video, I'm going to give you my reaction to the announcement of the French team to take on the Springboks in that game. G'day and welcome to Inside Rugby with Mark. I'm a Kiwi rugby fan living in beautiful Cancun, Mexico. And if you haven't been here before, welcome to my channel. It's great to have you around and I hope you stick around not only for the Rugby World Cup, but for all the rugby afterwards that I'm going to be bringing to you on this channel. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about the French team that's been announced to play against the Springboks on Sunday at the Stade de France. It's going to be a huge game. It's going to be a very close affair, I think. And uh, the French have named a very interesting team to take on the Springboks. So I want to go through that now. And let's start off taking a look at the French forwards in this game. And let's look at their front row. And first of all, we have Cyril Bay, and then we have Malvaca, and then we have Antonio. And boy, there's some big lads in that front row for France. And they're all playing very, very good rugby at the moment. I've been hugely impressed with Malvaca at the uh, hooker position. He's been great in open play for France in the games that they've played. And as many of you will say to me in my comments that yes, they haven't been playing the level of standard they're going to come up against on Sunday in the Springboks. But you can only play as good as you can in front of the team that's put in front of you. And that's what Malvaca and all the French team have been doing in this tournament. So a very good front row for France. They're up a great against a very good Springbok front row. So it's going to be a really huge battle in the scrums and in the forwards. And I think what's going to be interesting here is how well these props and hookers get around the field on Sunday and how much impact they actually have in that phase of the play. So as we know these days, the props and the hookers are doing much more than just getting into the tight work. They're also doing some work in open play, particularly in breakdowns. And that's what I've been impressed with Mel Vacker so far in this tournament. He's been very prominent in getting the French to some clean out ball in different areas of the field. So look for that in both of these two front rows in the weekend, who's gonna step up and be a little bit more athletic around the field. And then looking at the locks for France in this game, we've got Wokey and Flamant. And uh, for me, Wokey has been the forward of the tournament for France. He's been fantastic around the field. He's been winning a good lot of good line out ball as well and expect him to do a big job against the Springboks. And I think he's going to be, along with Flamant, they're going to be targeting some ball from the South African lineout. And I said this in my detailed video on this game that I think this is gonna be an area where France go after the Springboks lineout. So let's see what happens. But look for Wokey also in open play. He's another one of those forwards that's been getting around the field very well for this French team. And uh, I think he can have a big impact at breakdown time. So two big and good locks for France in this game. Then the back three for France in the forwards, Jeleneau, Olivon and Audret. And boy, have these three been playing very well. Audret, I think, is another that's right up there with the best French forwards in this tournament so far. He's been absolutely explosive in the breakdowns, getting a lot of ball for his French team. He played extraordinarily well against the All Blacks in that game, and he was big in the Italian game as well for France. This is another level. This is the Springboks, and he's going to have to bring his A game to this particular match on Sunday. But look for Audrey to do a lot of damage in the breakdowns. He's as good as anything that the South Africans have. That's what I believe. And I think he can be one of the players of the tournament in this year's tournament. So a great back three there for France. And I think they're really going to compete with the Springboks in this game. Okay, let's have a look at the French reserve forwards that are going to be coming on in this game. And we've got Bourgare, Wardy, Aldegeri, Toto Fenua, Crow, and Makalu. And there's some big boys in that, that lot, and they're going to have to be good to come on against the Springboks team. I think this French reserve uh, forwards are very, very good. I think Makalu is exceptional athlete. He can bring in a lot of dynamic play for the French off the bend. Crew is good as well. Al Dejeri is gonna bring a lot of power and Wardy has been very, very good in this tournament so far. So I think it's a very strong bench for France. I think it's gonna be very interesting to see when they're strategically used in this game because I think this game is going to be a game of two halves. I think there's going to be a lot of changes made to the way this game is played in the second half. 
Okay, let's have a look at the French backline for this game. And yes, he's back, Antoine Dupont. I don't think there was any uh, chance that he was going to miss this game, regardless of what happened to his cheek or his body over the last uh, 20 odd days. But uh, Antoine Dupont is back. And I mentioned it in my previous videos that the French have never lost a test with Antoine Dupont starting at 20 tests in a row. They've won with Antoine Dupont starting and he will be the captain of France on Sunday at the Stade de France. So we look at Ireland streak and yes, they're doing very, very well. But what an amazing statistic there for Antoine Dupont and his French team not to have ever lost a game at home under his guidance. So coming in at number 10 for France on Sunday is going to be Matthew Jalibert. I've said in previous videos, I think this guy is underrated. I think he's an exceptionally talented number 10 and he's got more and more confidence as this tournament has gone on. He's going to bring something magical to this game on Sunday. His cross kick passing is exceptionally good. So watch out for Matthew Jalabir. Watch for him to have a really big game on Sunday. Then moving on to the centers for France in this game. And we've got Jonathan Dante and Gay Ficou. And uh, yeah, I think these two kind of cancel out Diolandi and Jesse Krill. They're pretty similar players in some respect. And I think it's going to be a really interesting battle to see who gets uh, on top in this particular game. We've seen Dante do some fantastic runs for the French. He's a big, hard, solid guy. But so are Diolandi and Jesse Krill. So I think this battle in the centres is going to be quite entertaining to see who actually comes out on top. Gay Fiku, I think, has a little bit more pace that he can get out and cause some damage. But of course, he's going to be a link pin for those exceptional wingers that France have outside their centres. So watch for him to try and be a connection man in this game. And then we move out to the French back three and we've got Biel Biary and what a winger this young guy is. He's really been explosive in this tournament. He's got no fear. He knows how to finish off a try and he can score tries from anywhere in the field. So I'm excited to watch this guy play whenever he plays and I think he's going to have a big game on Sunday against the Springboks. Then we've got Damien Pinot. He's the actual leading try scorer in this tournament so far. Again, another real finisher for France. He knows how to find that try line. And if you've watched some of the tries that he scored, well, I don't know how he's got the ball down over the line. Absolutely exceptional. And then at fullback, we've got the points leading scorer in the tournament, Thomas Ramos. Fantastic from the boot. He's exceptionally good at goal kicking. And he also joins in this French back line very, very well. He also does a great return of strategic kicking from the backfield for France. So class and speed and um, some vision in the back for France. And that's what I love about this French team. They've got a lot of visionaries in the team. They've got a lot of creative play and they can really take it to the spring box on Sunday. So Fabien Gaultier has gone with a 6-2 split for their team on the bench this weekend and only two in the back reserves and this is an interesting move for me. And they've got Luku coming in for halfback and obviously he's there to cover if anything happens to Antoine Dupont. And then we've got Mo Fana who will come on and be a utility back reserve across the field for France. So bit of a question mark on this decision for me for France to have only two reserves in the back line considering Dupont's situation. This could be something that comes back to bite them. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I think that's a really interesting split decision by Fabien Gaultier for his team on Sunday. So there we go. That's the French team to play against the Springboks on Sunday at the Stade de France. It's going to be a massive game, as I've already said. It could go either way. Whichever team brings their A game on the weekend is more than likely going to come out on top in this particular game. Let me know what you think of the reaction to this French team. Do you think there's anybody there that's missing that should be in this French team? Of course, they've lost Willemse, which was a big loss to them. But uh, they've got some fantastic players in this team uh, for sure. I'd like to know whether you think this French forward pack can take on the Springboks on Sunday. Or whether you think the Springboks are going to have too much dominance, particularly with that bench that's coming on in the second half. I'd like to know in your comments. Okay, that's it for this video. Thanks very much again for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. I love most of the comments that are coming in. For those that are going to write dis disrespectful stuff, not only to me, but to other fellow followers in this community, please don't do it. Go somewhere else and be a troll. And uh, that's all I'll say on that particular topic. Okay, that's it for this video. Until next time, stay well, stay safe, everybody. Keep enjoying the amazing rugby from France. And I'll see you again soon right here on Inside Rugby with Mark. Until then, bye for now.